Hey guys and gals, I'm Frank Schwartz. This is What the Frank, where we're going to be talking about what's trending today. Let's start off with Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman used to play basketball back in the day. Awesome. Played on uh, Detroit, played on the Lakers, tattoo, crazy color hair, badass defenseman underneath the uh, net. Been to Korea, North Korea specifically, and has had something to say about something all the time. Got arrested for domestic violence, drank too much, all this stuff. Who cares? This is where we're at. He wants to rip the Knicks and everybody for their, as he says it, bad basketball playing. Okay, get on TV, become a, ca a newscaster or an analyst or something. Stop trying to ramp up to get your ass back into the limelight. You're retired. Nobody really cares. Nobody's following you. You're not doing anything to help the team. You're not doing anything to help these players other than just getting on the news and talking shit and pulling up some uh, nice little headlines. That's about it. You know, Charles Barkley's got room to talk. He gets paid to talk, kind of like me. Now we go over to this Florida lottery. Seriously. Man wins $3 million with a scratch-off. Takes pictures for the promotion and marketing of uh, his winnings with his big check. And it comes out that dude is a convicted pedophile. He's a sexual predator. So I'm not sure if pedophile is the actual term, but he, he's a convicted sexual predator. I'm glad he won. I really am glad he won. Now, my suggestion is all of his victims get together and sue his ass in civil court for ten million dollars and take his money you'll win you'll win but you gotta do it fast before he hides the money or blows it on something but go out there and get your money get paid for the shit that he did to you that's my suggestion contact an attorney get this shit uh, locked up in court and and get paid get paid back write him a letter and thank him go on the news you might have to relive it a little bit but no more than you know what you what you're living uh, with this uh, thought on a daily basis. And if it was a child, this could really go to help with counseling and school and things like that. I'm glad he won. Now go take the shit from him. iPod Classic. Holy smokes, guys! This is kind of funny. The iPad iPod Classic discontinued. Apple's not going to support them. They're old, they're ancient, and people are going to spend a fortune grabbing the one that you have sitting in your closet. You probably held on to it. Sell it. These things are going for more than what they were worth when they were brand new. It's crazy. Uh, some people are buying them for $900 a piece. That's nuts. I mean, it's 160 gigs, don't get me wrong. Never failed with what it was designed to do. And it's a, a really cool thing. I mean, it'd be perfect for a car. But 900 bucks? 900 bucks, you can get a, a, a laptop. I think you can even get a uh, an Apple Air, Mac Air, whatever. But 900 bucks, that's a little bit much for nostalgia. I mean... What do you think? Are you one of those that's in line for it? Are you checking eBay? Are you checking Amazon under their used stuff? Hmm? Might be able to find some on Amazon. I'm sure Craigslist is blowing up right now. There's a lot of people going to be happy at Christmas. Either they get this, uh, this device or they sold it for a crap load of money and are able to buy better gifts this year. Sony Pictures executive, he, he wrote some emails and he talks some shit about Angelina Jolie, you know, her and Brad Pitt, a power couple, wrote some emails, some nasty ass emails. I've I've heard what a couple of them said and calling her spoiled and that she can't act and you know, you guys got to remember even when you're sending an email to somebody that you know, like and trust, if that person ever gets upset or hacked, those emails are going to go out. Those emails are going to go out, and they're going to be very public. So my mom used to say, don't say anything you wouldn't want to be shown on the news. Don't write anything you wouldn't want somebody to actually read. I don't care about those things. Thus, I'm doing this show. But, you know, you, you, can't, you can't go around and apologize now. 
publicly. I mean, you can, you should. But at the same time, I'd be on the phone with Angelina Jolie saying, what do you want for your next movie? And then double it. Because she is going to take Sony for everything in payback. Somebody is going to pay dearly for that move. You can thank the hackers, you can blame the hackers, but you got to blame the person who wrote it. That's uh, that's what's going to happen. There's going to be there's going to be some very expensive payback, and An- Anna- Angelina Jolie has the right to uh, to make you pay. I would. It's just business now. It's not personal. It was personal when you wrote it. Now it's business. Hop tub time machine two taking a very bad movie that was a classic and we're making another one except this time instead of going back in time they're going forward in time i don't know how they're going to uh redo the whole accident and everything but uh it'll be interesting i'll watch it um i'm not i'm not gonna watch it um at the theater on uh, release day but i'll watch it it's funny one of those feel-good movies Kind of like Clerks, Love Clerks. That is a uh, cult classic. That is uh, one that is on my uh, on my. I will always make time to watch that movies. But congratulations, guys! Hot Tub Time Machine Two. Hope to see it soon. Steve Carell, The Office, Forty Year Old Virgin, and a ton of other projects. Was uh, he did a barbershop quartet of sexual healing funny go watch the uh video it's uh it's cute as hell we'll put the uh link below in the um description we will glass door employment survey google is the top place to work number one in the united states out of the top 50 places to work who the hell wouldn't want to work at google i know seo guys who who spend all day hiding from google but if they were given the opportunity to work there, I think they would. I think I think they I I would. Hey Google, call me up. Pineapple Express. We've got two-story high waves. We have massive storms rolling in. If you like surfing, you are going to have a blast of a good time. I don't surf. I live in the desert. I've never surfed. I don't know if I have the ability to surf. But for those of you who do, go have fun. But be safe. Oh, new Pixar film. Second trailer coming out for Inside Out. I watched the trailer. It's cute. I know some preteens, tweens, are going to like it. I know maybe some parents will like it too. All these cartoon, animation movies, superhero movies coming out. It's going to be a crazy year next year with all of this stuff. But Pixar puts out some some feel-good movies, so you should enjoy it. We'll, we'll see if you like it. Of course, it's going to have to be some crazy-ass thing. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on serial podcast host discusses program's origin on the colbert report a podcaster (sighs) talks podcasting and how her whole thing goes colbert is winding down david letterman's winding down there's a couple of more late night shows that are all winding down there's going to be the whole mix up between people switching jobs switching channels switching places of employment but they're going to be doing the same type of stuff if you're into uh podcasts go check out what sarah was talking about she's a a serial podcaster so she's been around for a while so other than that guys i mean there's there's not a whole lot going on there's a woman here in arizona that i wanted to uh talk about but we're gonna save that for tomorrow's show finding out some more facts about what's actually happening you may have helped donate to her cause you may not have you did i feel bad for you and we will talk about it tomorrow other than that please 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 go ahead and subscribe down below click that button subscribe so you get updates on us all the time check out the facebook group stop by hang out talk about what we talk about on the show if you want to see more episodes it's over there just click the more episode button and i am frank this is what the frank and i appreciate your time you have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow